Hi, I'm Molly. Hi, I'm Lily. And we study MSc Fashion Management at postgrad level. So we'll be discussing our magazine that we made. This was part of our module for fashion buying and merchandising. And this was for the promotion of the BA Fashion uh, Exhibition. Me and Molly had this idea that we wanted to do a magazine and we put that to the group and from that, you know, we all teamed with a third year student and we came up as a group with a form that we would ask them so we could get all their details, what inspired them about their pieces and the story behind, you know, their, um, their profiles and yeah, then we started talking to them and getting some bits and bobs from them and then sort of putting it all together. Um, so we got our inspiration originally from like fashion magazines. We really wanted to go down like the traditional route of fashion marketing. So we love like Vogue and Elle and all those kind of fashion magazines. So we really wanted to do something with that. Um, so then that led us to the creation of our little graphics um, that were inside the um, magazine to promote the students. Um, so we got them to send our portfolios over to us um, and from there we took little bits that they'd sketched, their final designs, their like fabrics that they used, little sketches like scribbles and all that stuff. So we could really tell a story in these graphics. So then the people that were seeing the exhibition could look at these like the story that the graphics tell and then see the final design and the outcome of that, which I think was really nice and a nice little touch mm. to show their like creativity and show their work to how we, I think, definitely wanted to promote it the best yeah. we could. And I think that was a great way of doing it. And then they sent us little snippets of just where they got their inspiration from. And um, so we were able to put that in it as well. That was quite nice because we add, it meant that we could add like personality to what you were seeing. Um, and a lot of the sort of stories behind the uh, ideas and the portfolios were based from like childhood experiences or childhood memories or people who meant a lot to the students. So it was nice to capture that and, and have that in a different way than just looking at what they had made yeah and then like every magazine that we looked at prior yeah. to making this they all have little breaking points in the magazine so we decided to do that with behind the scenes so we were fortunate enough a girl on our course really into photography so she just took some of the designers to the photography studios here and then um, just took some photos for us that we were able to use in the magazine and create this like little breaking point yeah and then people could also see like the work that's gone behind this for the students and for us as well, just to make this magazine and for them to make their designs and really get their designs shown in. Yeah, it just added that sort of depth and that you could see that it had been a long process for them and that, you know, it was something else to look at that was different. So for the front cover, we kind of looked at a different range of sort of magazine covers that were out there. I'd say one of the challenges was to try and get a little bit of everybody's portfolio on there because they're so different and we wanted to encapsulate a bit of everybody's. So we kind of found a common theme and similarities that helped us, but we also wanted a clean style that, you know, you could easily read and it was eye-catching at the same time. So we kind of managed to find this happy medium with it. Um, Who thought of the name? Was that I think it, so we had this originally for this um, module we had a big like discussion didn't we as like a group and we were all just throwing yeah. names about to the point we were getting like generators up and just like seeing what that would throw at us yeah um, because although the fashion students had like it was going to be was it like it was just going to be like BA mm. we really wanted something that would be a bit more catchy one of the girls just threw out like sewing style yeah and we all just really liked that so we ran with it and it actually worked really nicely on the magazine yeah um, so like when we were doing the font although I think um, with a lot of magazines it's front and center isn't it we quite liked how the sewing style kind of hides a bit behind the main the main picture in it because I think it does give that kind of like editorial feel about it yeah and the typography and everything we just really wanted it to stand out so it's white it stands out against like all the darker colors 
um, and to make it even really authentic, we added in a little barcode <laughs> and everything like you would find on a magazine. For the logo on the inside, that was made by a girl in um, our group and we kind of have that throughout the whole magazine and it was an anchor point for a lot of the promotional efforts that the, that the members made. Um, so it just made everything really cohesive and then it also meant that it tied this to that project.